Are you confused about whether a college degree, certifications, or boot camp will best prepare you for a lucrative career in cybersecurity? Well, you are not alone, and it's a good thing you found this video. Today, I'll be breaking down these all important questions by showing you what each learning path entails, the average cost of learning, and then the opportunities that each offer. And not only that, how your employability is impacted, whether you have a degree, certifications, or attend a bootcamp program. Also, expect some very interesting data that might help you put your mind at ease as you confidently decide whether this path is right for you. Hello guys, my name is Tolu Lokwe Michael. I'm a cyber security expert with close to a decade of experience. And without any further delay, let's get right into it. So, what is a degree and how is it different from certification or bootcamp? A degree is a qualification that you get from college or university. Unlike certifications and bootcamps, right? Degrees are a more traditional way to pursue higher education in your field of interest. Now, there are also various types of degrees that you can aim for. We have the associate degree, bachelor's degree, and master's degree, and even the doctoral degrees. Each takes different amount of time and financing to complete, and basically comes down to how far you want to go academically. Now, relating it back to cybersecurity, getting a degree helps in terms of providing a broad understanding of computer science and cybersecurity concepts. Now, this includes learning about various topics such as network security, cryptography, software development, and more. Now, a major benefit of getting a degree is that this comprehensive knowledge helps build a strong foundation in the field, making graduates well-rounded professionals. Also, a degree from a properly accredited university is reputable and can help individuals start or progress in a career. But how long does it take to get a cybersecurity degree? A college degree typically takes three to four years to complete, depending on whether you're pursuing an associate or bachelor's degree. This longer duration gives room for in-depth study and opportunity to explore various subjects within the cybersecurity field. Now, as for employability, degrees are recognized by many employers and often required for higher level positions in cybersecurity. And this is mostly because many employers, they still value formal education. So having a degree can increase your chances of getting hired and advancing in your career. All of that definitely comes at a cost. And I assure you, it is not cheap. I believe you know that. Now, based on statistics, it costs approximately 24,000 per year for a four-year bachelor's degree, that is totaling about $99,000 a year. And considering student loan interest and loss of income, investing in a bachelor's degree can ultimately cost in excess of $500,000. But does this significantly impact your earning potential? I mean, do degree holders earn more in cybersecurity? Now, from what I've seen, graduates with degrees have comparable earning potential to those with certification. However, guys, your ability to bargain and ask for what you're worth comes into play at this point in time. And while we are on the subject of salary negotiation, if you're not skilled at naming your price, I have a video to get you bargaining like a pro in no time, and it will be linked down below in this video. So go check it out, and then you'll be able to learn how to negotiate like a pro. Back to our topic of the day. A survey by Indeed found that 72% of bootcamp graduates are considered equally prepared for the job market as computer science degree holders. That should tell you something, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Now, moving forward, let's talk about certifications. Certifications are specialized credentials that validate your skills and knowledge in specific areas of cybersecurity. They are a great way of kind of demonstrating your expertise to employers and then staying competitive in the job market while also allowing you to choose a specific field to focus on and get good at it. Another advantage of certification is it takes significant lesser time to complete, typically a few weeks or months. You should also know that certification is a great option for those looking to change careers or if you want to deepen your professional knowledge, certification is a good way to go and it's less expensive compared to a degree. For instance, 
CISSP costs around $800. Certifications are also a good option if all you're looking to do is focus on specialized practical skills in specific areas of cybersecurity and then become job ready in a short time. So if that's what you want, you want to become job ready in a shorter time, trust me, certification is a good one for you. Certifications like Security Plus, CISSP, CISM, they are well recognized and then they cater to various levels of expertise and specific job roles. So the choice is all yours, whatever you want to do, okay? And when it comes to employability and any potentials, certifications are valued by employers for validating practical skills and expertise, not a degree, certifications, okay? And studies have shown that certification orders can earn competitive salaries and are often hired faster for specific roles. Now, for example, according to the Global Knowledge IT Skills and Salary Report, Professionals with certifications like CISSP, they earn an average salary of $116,000 per year. And at the same time, certifications like Security Plus, CEH are highly valued by employers, improving your chances of landing jobs. Now, a survey by ISC2 found that 70% of hiring managers, they prioritize candidates with cybersecurity certifications over those without certifications. Of course, if you want to employ, you want to prioritize those with certifications over those who do not have certifications. This preference shows the importance of certifications in the hiring process. One key value I have personally noticed with certification is the fact that certifications ensure that professionals stay updated with the latest cybersecurity threats and technologies. And considering the fact that they need to be renewed periodically, continuous education is encouraged that is why certifications are very valuable because you keep learning, you keep recertifying so that you stay up to date and you still stay as a member of their certification body. They also provide a standardized benchmark for skills and knowledge and this is making it a lot easier for employers to evaluate candidates that they want to interview for job. Now putting all this that we have discussed into consideration, cyber graduate certifications are obviously a valuable investment in your career. They not only enhance your knowledge and skills, but also significantly boost your employability and earning potential. However, we still have one more learning option to go, and that is the bootcamp. You might be familiar with the term, or maybe not, but simply put, a bootcamp is an accelerated education program that prepares students for employment. And in recent years, due to a talent shortage in the tech sector and the reason is not far-fetched guys boot camps are less expensive and they take less time than a traditional degree this makes them an attractive option for those looking to enter into the workforce very quickly and this usually takes within three months to six months to complete most boot camps what they focus on is job readiness while many even offer job placement assistance as well now, in terms of funding for boot camp, most boot camp cost between $10,000 to $20,000 and it is possible to find a few that cost less or even totally free, while the more expensive options can cost more than $20,000. So, there is a range of options for anyone looking to join a boot camp program. Another advantage boot camps offer is the hands-on experience. Most programs of this nature emphasize practical, real-world projects where you get to solve real life problems. Now, aside this very important advantage, I made reference to a very key data earlier. Now, I said a survey by Indeed found that 72% of bootcamp graduates are considered equally prepared for the job market as computer science degree holders. And that's not all. Report also shows that people who attend bootcamp programs have similar any potential to degree holders, depending on the job role and then the industry demand. There's also the high employment rate, with 80% of bootcamp graduates finding jobs within six months. And I think this has a lot to do with the fact that most bootcamp programs are designed to prepare students for entry-level jobs quickly with curriculum that are focused on practical activities. At the end of the day, what employers need is someone who can actually do the job. And with all this information in front of you, now the big question is, how do you decide which one is right for you? I believe there are three major factors to look at here. Three, your career goals, time, and then your budget. 
Those are the three. Now let's break that down further. The first point I mentioned is your career goals. Are you interested in building a career from ground up, looking to learn a specific professional skill or enter the workforce quickly? If your aim is to explore your field and develop skills at a much slower pace, a degree might be best for you. Okay? Now, popularly seen as the gold standard of education, investing in a degree program can be beneficial for you if you want a more structured and traditional approach to learning. Now, on the other hand, boot camps and certifications may suit your needs better if you want things to move along faster, especially considering the next two factors, the time and the budget. A college degree is the most expensive option and it takes the longest time to complete. So if you also want to work while pursuing your education, a full-time degree program might not be the best option for you as well. However, if money is not your biggest consideration, then you can enroll for a part-time degree program. Now, as for budgets, you will have to consider factors like lost wages during your studies and your further earning potential. Now, in a case where funds are limited, you may need to find a bootcamp program that offers flexibility to fit into your work schedule or a relevant certification. There is also the possibility of combining certifications with a boot camp or exploring all three options if you can afford to. Now, combining a degree, certifications, and boot camp can give you a competitive edge in the job market. So if you've been a graduate, you've gone to a boot camp and you've had certifications, trust me, you have an edge, like you have an edge. Now, but my job here today is to present you with all the facts. Now, the decision is still yours to make. So I will leave you with a question. Have you figured out which one is best for you? Take some time to think about it and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.